There's a basic change going on with a younger generation estranged to older people. There's a change in the way you define freedom, the way you define power, and the way you define community. And these changes really suggest the real revolution. For my generation and, and generations before me, freedom was very simple. To be free is to be an autonomous agent, to be self-sufficient, to be independent, to be not beholden to others, to be an island to oneself so that one can have freedom as exclusivity. younger generation that grew up on the internet, autonomy is death. Being an island to oneself is death. Because for your generation, you ask the question, how can I flourish to the full extent of my possibilities here on the planet? And it's clear that your answer to that is I flourish to the extent that I'm embedded in community after community where I can share my talents. And those talents can benefit the network and come back to benefit myself. I'm free because I have access. And for you, freedom is not exclusivity. It's inclusivity. You have a different sensibility about power, which makes the older generation very nervous. We essentially believe that power always has to be a pyramid. It goes from the top down. That is power. There's no other way to define power. It's a pyramid. But young people that grow up on the internet, it's strange because you grew up thinking that power has to do with the networks you're engaged in. For you, power is not vertical, it's lateral. For you, power is being enmeshed in network after network where you benefit each other. Open source. And finally, I think most importantly, we're seeing a change in the way a younger generation perceives identity to community. I grew up in a nation state, we were very clear on community. That is, each individual is born to be an autonomous agent and we're each sovereign. And each of us compete with other sovereign individuals in the marketplace for scarce resources in a zero-sum game. Our nations represent us because they are sovereigns. And they represent all the millions of individual citizens who are sovereigns against other nations. And each nation then competes with every other nation for scarce resources in the marketplace or the battlefield in a zero-sum game. Here's my question. Does anyone here believe that we're gonna be able to address climate change and bring the human family together and take our responsibility for our fellow creatures in the earth we live in with that worldview? Anybody? What we're beginning to see with a younger generation, and I don't want to overstretch this, but I'm beginning to sense a shift from geopolitics to biosphere consciousness. The biosphere is that 19 kilometers from the stratosphere of the ocean, where all life and all the chemicals on the planet interact to maintain the ecosystems, the biology of the earth. These kids are learning ecological footprint. We actually have young people coming home and at dinner time, they're asking their parents where the hamburger came from on the table. They're saying, did that hamburger come from a rainforest? Did they have to destroy the trees for four little inches of topsoil, which only gives you three years of grazing, so that that cow could become my hamburger? 
And when those trees are destroyed for the topsoil to graze the cow for the hamper, the kids are smart enough to understand that those trees harbor rare species of plant and animal life that only live in those canopies. They go extinct. And then they connect the dots. If the trees disappear for the soil to graze the cow for the hamburger, those trees are not there to absorb CO2 from industrial emissions. And that means the temperature of the planet goes up. They're beginning to understand that everything each of us does intimately affects some other human being, some other creature, and the planet we live in. We live in an indivisible biosphere community. There's no escape. This isn't just academic. Our well-being depends on the well-being of the whole system and all the creatures in it. We all have to really come together. We've got one generation to lay down this new biosphere consciousness. Pass on this legacy so when your grandchildren look back at you, they can say you did the right thing. He helped replenish the planet, got us off carbon, helped show our proper respect to generations not yet here, including our fellow creatures.